So today we're going to be looking at five multiplayer classes, which means tuning is involved. This is the first class right here that I want to talk about. And the reason we're doing this is because I haven't made five multiplayer classes in a while. So this is the first one, the cast off 74U. I'm going to show it off, show you guys everything, the tuning and everything. And then we're going to get into the next classes. And the next one after this is probably going to be the TAC 56. You guys can pause it right here, take the class if you want. But we'll get into the tuning on this one in just a moment. First, let's get into my favorite class to use, the cast off 74U. So we go into the actual firing range here and you guys can see like close range solid mid range pretty solid i changed my sensitivity so i'm not used to it yet and then long range you're going to go for these shots and it's not super solid but you should be able to kill all three ranges using just one mag of i believe 30 bullets let's reload it yeah 30 bullets as you guys can see there so it's pretty good before we continue on the video if you guys could drop a like on this one and sub to the channel i'll truly appreciate that let's not waste any more time back to it now i also want to say guys if there's an echo in my video i apologize i packed up everything i'm moving in like nine days across the entire country canada which is a big country and so it's pretty empty in here there, there's going to be an echo i do apologize for that but let's get into this right here so the rear grip the true tack grip we're going to tune that to 0 0.65 towards ads and negative 0 0.28 towards sprint to fire they're both negative i didn't mention the other one my bad then we're going to go to the stock with which is the f tac tac ft tac elite stock it's weird to say it's going to be negative 3.10 towards ads and then we're going to leave the other one at zero and that's going to be the best tuning for that attachment then we got the f tac tiger grip for the under barrel and the tuning on this one is going to be negative 0.49 towards ads and again we're going to leave the other one at zero i don't mess with the aim walking speed or the aiming idle stability sometimes i'll put one of them up but depending on the class if it works perfect at zero I'm leaving it at zero. You don't have to tune absolutely everything. And then we got the Corio Laser 44 V3. This one right here is going to be negative 23 towards sprint to fire and negative 24.68 towards ADS. That's a huge number, but I mean, hey, it works out nice. This gun has a fast ADS and a fast sprint to fire. And the final one is the barrel, which is the SA Ultra 3. And this one's going to be tuned to positive 0.42 towards recoil steadiness and negative 23 towards ADS. And what I mean by fast sprint to fire and fast ADS. Imagine you're running here and you just go like that. Like that, that. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast if you ask me. And I miss all my shots, guys. I haven't played in like two days. All the packing, like I said, don't mind. All right, let's move on to the next class, which I said is going to be the TAC 56. And it's slightly different to my TAC 56 on ranked. And now on ranked, you just want a gun that has barely any recoil and is pretty reliable. On multiplayer, you want a gun that barely has recoil, but it's also fast. And you're also able to get off on it and just kill a bunch of people. So we look at this right here. Could we kill all three with just 30 bullets? Bullets. We'll test it out. There's barely any recoil so far, even at long range, pretty solid. And we even got bullets to spare. So if you get into another cl up close gunfight, should be able to kill. Should be able to kill. And there you guys go. You got five people in all ranges with just one magazine. So that's actually really nice right there. So the barrel is going to be the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro. This one's going to be at positive 37 recoil steadiness and negative 0.08, just slightly up towards ADS. And it's a pretty nice one right there. And then we got the Commando foregrip for the under barrel. And this one right here is going to be negative 52 towards ADS. We're going to leave the bottom one at zero again. The laser is the DXS Flash 90. There's no actual tuning on this one, but you get a flashlight sprint to fire speed and aiming stability when you're actually using the flashlight or just in general the flashlight is visible to enemies now when i play this game i don't notice too many flashlights so i don't really see that as much of a negative especially if you're running around and stuff they won't see you too well the stock is the tv cardinal stock this one right here is going to be negative 1.16 towards ads the bottom is just going to stay the same and then we got the demo clean shot grip one of the best attachments in the game for ads and sprint to fire ads we're going to throw at 0.58 negative 0.58 and sprint to fire at negative 0.09 that's all you need to do on that one right there and it's a solid class going on to the next one i wanted to throw this weapon the chimera into the list but i mean i've already given you guys this one i think a few times so we'll leave that out right there now the m4 this is the old class i've given you guys okay and i tested out a few other ones and there's one thing you might want to change on this class if you want so we're going to go into this quickly here and we're just going to look at the tuning i've given it to you fast so if you guys want just pause along i'm just going to go through it really quickly you guys could check it out use it do it what whatever abuse it do what you got to do with it i mean this is all the tuning right and the attachments are pretty good as well so we got all that but there's one thing you guys could do if you want to make this gun a little tiny bit better depending on the range where is it? i forget what it's called i know what it is just by the pros that it has i think i think it's this one right here yeah the tempest trench pro okay it makes the barrels 
slightly smaller, but it is really nice. We're actually gonna put the recoil steadiness up to right about there, 0.32, and then we're gonna put the ADS instead of the damage range up to right about here, I believe, point negative 21. So that's gonna be really solid, and it's gonna make the gun a little bit quicker than it should be. So that's pretty fast for an assault rifle. It's pretty accurate as well. It's not gonna be the best at the longest ranges, but if you hold that shot and you actually try to control it, it's a little easier, but I, like I said, this is mid to close range. I did change up my class to make it a mid to close range class. The last one I gave you guys was a little better for uh, for long range, but this one right here, I just find it's insane when you get up against SMGs up close. It's a really nice class, and you're definitely gonna wanna run that right there. So that's my new updated class. One attachment changed. I thought it was worth sharing with you guys, and it's pretty good. Next off, we got obviously the Fennec. The Fennec is nice. This class doesn't change. I think I've given you guys this one. I'm not sure. If you guys remember, if it was this one, let me know. I think it was, but yeah, so the X10 Razor Comp Muzzle, we're gonna tune it to negative 28 ADS and positive 24 for gun kick control because the Fennec, you need gun kick control on that thing. The barrel is gonna be the FTAC 8.5 Recon. Now this one right here, we're gonna put positive 0.23 for recoil steadiness, negative 0.23 for ADS. So the numbers are the same, they're just positives and negatives. The Fennec Magazine is what we're gonna run on this one. Now you do get 45 rounds, but it does make this gun a lot slower in regards to ADS, reload quickness, movement speed, sprint to fire, but in all honesty, I feel like it's worth it. Just because you get more bullets, this gun shoots fast. You kind of want to have that. Then we got the rear grip, the Fennec rubber grip. The tuning on this one's going to be negative 19 for ADS and negative 25 for sprint to fire. And the final attachment is the FTAC X Command stock, which we're going to put at one negative 1 1.68 ADS and negative 0.70 towards aim walking speed. Now that's one that I actually changed instead of leaving at zero. And that's because this gun's already so fast. You can actually ADS and it's not as fast as you would think. Like this gun, you're running around with it. It's a fast gun. Then you ADS and it's slow so we had to put that aim walking speed slightly up on this one now don't expect this gun to be the best gun for long range it's it's gonna struggle even a little bit at mid-range but when you go to long range with 16 bullets left if you tap fire you're still not gonna finish it so this is not a long range gun this is one of those guns where you want to use it for rushing pushing everywhere uh, don't move on me bro and and stuff like that so yeah don't don't think this is a gun for long range it's not at all going down to the final weapon on this list all right we got this one right here which is the iso hemlock a lot of people sleep on this gun it's actually disgustingly nice i just smacked my phone it's all good we're gonna move on this one's actually really nice so if you actually look at it this site I mean, it blocks out a lot, but once you shoot, it's kind of solid. It's not that bad. If you could actually aim on target, it's not that bad of a sight at all. And I did struggle a bit at long distance, but that's just mostly my accuracy. I'm exhausted and stuff, so it's mostly my own fault there, but you should be able to kill people at long distance as well pretty easily. The Commando foregrip for the underbarrel, I don't have this gun maxed out, so I can't tune anything at the moment. I get a lot of comments of people asking me, why can't I tune my weapons? You gotta max them out. If you wanna tune your attachments on your gun, you gotta get that gun to the max level. I haven't done so for this one, so that, that's why I can't do it yet. The RQ, RCQ7 barrel, the FSS Ole V laser, the Mace 600, and the Sakin ZX grip. Now, I'm gonna actually max this out because I'm sure it's gonna be way better when you can tune these attachments. I'm currently level 18 out of 27, so it shouldn't be the hardest thing alive. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel if there's no these or none. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you made it this far. Just say I made it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.